What's crack like and everybody and welcome back to what is another Unlist Elite video. So guys, today we've got an absolutely epic opening for you guys. It is something so humongous or this thing is bigger than Bill Gates' bank account. Let me introduce you to the one, the only, Diamond and Pearl Collection. What the heck is the Diamond and Pearl Collection? It's actually the awesomest thing I've ever seen, like, ever. This thing is like a sample platter of all things Diamond and Pearl. We've got every single, uh, like, subset that was released under Diamond and Pearl, which is absolutely awesome. Palkia, Dialga, we've got three different uh, coins there, six different promos, six flipping different boost packs. This is so, like, insane in the membrane, and it's so tall, like... I can't get over the size of it, it's ridiculous. As we turned around here, we've got an amazing little art display of every single boost packs, like best art. That one, I reckon that's probably my favorite. Darkrai looks like such a badass there, that is so epically awesome. Uh, we've got, what is that, Empoleon, we've also got a Magmortor, we've got Lucario on the side. This thing is so awesome, it's got experience the Pokemon trading card game, Diamond and Pearl series, like never before, and that is so true. I cannot wait to get into this, but the thing is, I think I'm going to have to uh, turn the camera off and try to get this open, because it's going to take so much effort, because it's so huge. So uh, give me a sec, and I'll come back with all the boost packs. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs, how awesome it's editing nowadays. So uh, yeah, we'll jump straight into the uh, promo cards that they did give us, and I reckon these hollows are like so epic, because every single like square centimeter, it's like flipping shiny and like really uh, sparkly. So uh, the first one here is Professor Rowan, and he is looking so stern, he's like, mm, I'm thinking about life and pondering all its mysteries. Oh, uh, we've also got BB Search there, which is really epic. You can only see the sparkle in the uh, light, but when you do see it, it's, like, really epic. That's a pretty cool training card. Cynthia's feelings. we got to watch out for her feelings, because you know what? If you talk about her ex-boyfriend around her, you know, things get a little awkward. But, uh, but then we got a Chimchar here, and he looks pretty cool playing around. I think that's just a, uh... A normal card in one of the Diamond Pearl sets. A Turtwig, so it looks like we got all the starters. And a uh, Pimple up there. He's getting way too close to the camera. That is pretty awesome. So uh, they're quite epic, those little uh, holo trainer cards and uh, starter Pokemon. But then we've also got these really cool uh, coins. So I think they're all the same design. But we got a blue one, red one, and is that green? So I think that represents uh, Pimple up, Turtwig, and Chimchar. That is quite epic there. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Probably put it in the background. Uh, somewhere there, but most importantly guys, we have six, all six different Diamond and Pearl artworks And I know how much you guys love the Diamond and Pearl, you're always requesting all different uh, artworks here So I'm like, you know what, I'll open every single set out of this whole thing So uh, why the heck not, let's dive straight into it, let's see what damage we can do Start from the top, work our way down. So the first one we got here is a Diamond Pelt Legends Awakened. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what we, if this is uh, Primes or Level Xs. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, Level X set. But hopefully, out of six flipping boost packs, you'd hope that we can pull uh, at least one Level X. So uh, I think it's, it will go three from the back. If it's not, we'll learn. So uh, we got an Energy Pickup. Yes, I, that's another thing. I haven't seen too many Diamond Pearl artworks, so this is all new to me. This is so epic. We got a Swadloot there, a uh, unknown looking pretty cool, a Sneasel, a Root Fossil. That looks awesome. A uh, Horsey Underwater, a Gloom with all... That is really nice artwork, actually. That's pretty cool. A uh, Gligar there. Looks like it's taken straight out of the anime. Why are you upside down, Yanma? Gee whiz. Uh, so we got a Yanma and then a Blossom as our regular rare. So that's uh, pretty cool. We got Parallel Gain and Blend Pollen there. So we got the next one, which is a Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders. Or what is going to be that Secret Wonder? I don't know. It's like X Factor for Pokemon. It's like, go. Dragon Pokemon sing with the X Factor. I want to be the very... Uh, that's a no from me. I'm sorry. All right, I don't know what I'm talking about there. We got Eradicate there looking pretty cool. That's awesome with Nornoff. There's the uh, Professor Rowan in a non holo form. A uh, Breloom there looking pretty cool. A Shroomish. Oh, that is so epic. That Charmander. That's... Oh, that is so cool. And then uh, we've got Gnaw, which is actually a no energy there, which um apparently that's actually a thing. Like, it doesn't mean your Pokemon cards are fake. That's what they did in the uh, Diamond and Pearl series. So we got a Switch here looking pretty sweet, a uh, Psyduck jumping around, a Duskull looking epic, a Reverse Diglett, and then a regular rare is a Weevil looking pretty cool. I don't mind that card at all. Do the creep, and do the creep. We got a uh, Majestic Dawn Diamond and Pearl set with Garchomp on the front, looking so sweet. Let's open this one up. I'm pretty sure I've already opened a uh, whole bunch of Majestic Dawn on my channel before, so if you like this set, oh, I'll try my best to uh, link the uh, opening in the description below, because I'm pretty sure we did alright out of it. So, Because I, I reckon this is the one with uh, Glaceon level X and all that inside. Anyway, we've got an Apom here, which looks pretty baller. A Mum's Kindness, and she is very kind. A uh, Grotel there. A Chatot looking epic, just flying around. A Hitopotopotopotopus. A uh, Stunky there. A Starly flapping around in the sky. We get a Combi. A Reverse Lickitung. And yes, we bought a Hollow Dialga. 
Holy mac and cheese and maples, that is so epic. Look at that thing. We got a uh, time shift and diamond blast. That is epic. Look how awesome that is. The artwork on that is so sweet, and that's like a really realistic version of him. Uh, we got diamonds all up in his head. He's, you know what? He must have a net worth of like millions of dollars, because uh, on his person at all, you know how many times you get mugs? You know what? People probably wouldn't mug him. He's looking that scary walking down the street, uh, wearing his Gucci cabana because he's that rich. Look how awesome that is. That is so epic. And then uh, all the colors in the background, like we got a pink and a blue and a like blacky sort of font there. That is so awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely put that one at the back. That means we got like four hollows now. This is so crazy, this diamond and pearl thing. And I'm pretty sure I only picked it up for $17. Like, what a flipping bargain. Six boost packs normally would only cost like, oh, that'd be like $25 probably, plus three hollows. Like, it's just, I don't know, really bang for your buck. If you can still get it in your stores, judging from what I pulled so far, I'd still pick it up. Like, even if you pull all bad cards, you've still got like 60 Pokemon cards all up. Which is, uh, like, that's insane. Anyway, we got an awesome looking Cyndaquil. Love Cyndaquil, he's such a bowler. We've also got a Remoraid there. Our Reverse is a bit off, and our Regular Rare is a Maintine Regular Rare. So we got Jumbo Fin and Giant Wave. And look at all the other Maintines, that's really awesome. So, uh, alright, we're on our second to last pack, that's not good. We got the original base set, Diamond and Pearl now. Electrive on the front with his little plug there. Looks like you can plug into the power point on the back of him. So we'll open this one up, the purple boost pack of doom. I wonder what we can get in the base set one. I probably, I'm probably, i pretty sure it's like uh, Palkia, Dialga and all those. So we'll go two from the back or three from the back. And a uh, energy restore as our first one. Quite an epic looking energy with unlisted leaf on the front. Uh, we got an unknown there. A Glamia or however you pronounce that one. A Shinx there. A Wormpool level 7. A Chatot on level 27. A fighting energy reverse Marchamp which looks so epic. He looks really skinny in that. He's probably on his Weight Watchers diet. And then the regular rare is a Snorlax. He's looking so fat, he takes up most of the Pokemon card, but that is epic. That's what Snorlax is about uh, with block and ease up. That is awesome. I really like that card. I don't know why. Is that a holo? No, it's not. It's so hard to tell with these. Uh, you got to get really get the Pokemon cards in the light to be able to tell if they're a holo. But we were on our final boost back of this epic six boost back opening. Hopefully we can pull something good. That'd be really awesome because we've only pulled one holo so far. But uh, let's go. We got a Dialga pack to end things with great encounters. We've had some great encounters with our uh, Pokemon cards, and hopefully it'll be some great encounters with this boost pack if we can open it correctly. Jeez, we destroyed that one to pieces. All right, three from the back, guys. We can do it. I believe in life after love. Ba -dow -dow. All right, so we got a Skarmory, a Slowbro, a... Oh, sorry, I had to burp. A Lunatone, a uh, Maku Heater there, a Clampel looking awesome, a Wizma, a Caterpie, and that is really awesome artwork for that one. Moonlight Stadium with Cresselia. Is that Cresselia, like, floating around in the moon? He's like, hmm, going for my nighttime stroll to 7-Eleven. Like, yes, you are, my friend. Yes, you are. And the regular... Oh, gosh, we pulled the whole thing out. The regular rare is... Yes, we pulled a holo. That is awesome. It is a Rotan holo. And that looks so boss. I love the artwork on that. That is so cool. Uh, definitely an awesome pull. So we managed to pull two cool looking hollows out of the six boost packs. No complaints there considering I only paid like $17 for this one. So they are two epic looking cards. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you like Diamond Appel series? I'm really keen to see what you think. I'm, uh, see, I'm a fan, but I'm not the biggest fan of these little uh, levels here. I think Pokemon cards should just be like the name and an awesome looking artwork. But uh, make sure you do leave a comment in the comment section below. Really keen to see what you think. But most of all, guys, what do you do? You tell me up, though. You make sure you keep on gaming. See you then, guys.